and here we are with the other half of the British politics game duo I have going on. I think this seems like it might be the more accurate. Could be, could be. Well, with that said, apparently, yes, Minister and yes, Prime Minister came under fire because it was scarily close to how things are actually done. Hmm. Hmm, I have read... Was it about the guy who wrote the... Oh, was not the main writers of Yes Minister about his... Uh, Study, studying in university and he knew plenty of the kind of people who would later go into politics. Yeah. This is Floor 13. Encountered a place in the in UK which skips floor number thirteen. In England, I haven't. Um, I, I'm just used to America doing that. Ah, okay. Well, what is this game all about? Well, let's get started with a new DG. I think you long ago told me what that means, but I forget. I want to say Director General. I was thinking the same. Yeah. It seems about right for what we are in for. Yes. And I remember... Ooh, decor, modern or traditional. Let's go for modern. Be forward thinking. Okay. Now, oh, please type your name. And I remember what you suggested also earlier. Smith is a good name for, mm. again, for what we're going to be getting into. Yes. Signature. Apparently we're a doctor. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> so tell me what occurs on floor 13. Well, our work is to keep the current government pop con well in control by keeping it popular, which means we take care of unfortunate uh, events and persons and parties which would harm such things. I see. Yes, they report. And uh, we uh, need to keep our activities not too visible to the news media, or you get a get to experience a flying lesson like that unfortunate person in the intro. We're gonna get die-hearded. Yes. But maybe let's not. I might hope. Now let's enter the office. A modern-looking office. Ah, what was it? We have a new report from the House of Commons. As apparently we are working for the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries. Is it meant to say Comptroller? Well, I don't know. Uh, I suppose so. I had always assumed that to be a Simpsons joke. Mm. Uh, we can... Let's see, see polls. Ah, uh, that's uh actually that matches the yes prime minister game game pretty well. Pretty much, yeah. And we have archives, which hmm, interesting. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. 
He does like to appear in all of his products, doesn't he? Wait, who? Richard Branson. Uh-huh. Whenever Virgin do a thing, Richard Branson is in it. That's ah. I did. I was not aware of this. Yes. The government has never had and never will run any sort of quasi secret police force in Britain. Well, we don't really have anything else to do today, so let's just leave and head for the next day. Sounds and like plan. And previously we were the Prime Minister, now we are working for the Prime Minister. Hmm. Are you you're the new DG? Oh dear. Well, don't come back here unless I ask you to you, you and use the back entrance. And don't draw attention to yourself un unless you enjoy flying. I want to see results in three weeks. Okay. Hmm. Well, that, that didn't seem to go too well. Well, let's enter the office and right, just remembering what to how to do this. Right, let's continue and we have reports and the game. Well, I believe when there's nothing happening, the game automatically skips the days. Like we now went straight from January first to January third. Seems like a pretty handy way of doing things. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Mm hmm. So we have stuff about Nazi war criminals. We're starting in the d deep end. Uh, Take that Godwin on something. <laughs> see. And now, what else? Oh, and then this. Whenever there's some, some kind of event like this, we get people. I'll uh, find some people uh, involved. Let's see. Uh, so this is the guy that we have to basically do something with to get our way. Uh, well, that depends. It's some sometimes it's people who are, you know, uh, useful for our means. Sometimes it's people who are not so useful. Oh, now we can give orders like put people people on surveillance on him, search his house, uh, abduct him for interrogation, or have him removed. So it seems to me we are working for Mini True, effectively. M Mini what? Um, the Ministry of Truth from 1984. Right. Uh, you could say that. Uh -uh. Well, let's probably let's let's put a surveillance team on him. <coughs> Now, well, it's a, oh, so a lot of these things you do uh, increase the visibility of your activities, which is a uh, hidden statistic in the game. Uh -uh. So, of course, you know, something like putting a surveillance team tailing a person is much less visible than, say, having the person abducted and killed. 
I did see an option, something like heavy support or heavy armament or something like heavy that. Heavy assault. That's the one. Yeah. That seems like it would be very visible. Yeah. It's, it's ba Heavy assault is basically you send a team of people with hev heavy weapons to make sure the person is dead. Uh, oh yeah, if you try to, try to do a di discreet assassination, well, it... There is a possible... Well, there are a few possibilities. I mean, it it can fail, it can succeed, but be, you know, obvious it was a murder, or it can succeed and be uh, uh, dismissed as an accident. I suppose it depends on what kind of silent assassination you go for. And, yeah, it's, uh, when you order for a person to be assassinated, you uh, like get uh, get to choose how much preparation time there is, and of course longer preparation time means it's more likely to succeed and be and, uh, appear like an accident, but on the other hand, uh, the person may, may they in the interim get to do things which are harmful for the government, so... It's a trade-off. Yeah. Now, another event. The Shining Path. Which is a real terrorist organization. One thing I find uh, rather remarkable about this game is that they, it does not shy away from using real uh, names. for At least for the organizations. The, well, mm. the names of people are just put together from... Uh, Elements, but not the organizations. I say I, I I had thought the Richard Branson thing was just a cameo, but like you say, they've kept it up. Hmm. Um, well, so this is a this is a case unconnected to the Nazi war crimes thing. You can have several going on at the same time. So let's see. Well, here we have an organization which is, well, we can, well, there's two things we can do with organizations. We can infiltrate and put a smear campaign of them. Now, smear, it's good to put smear campaigns on any <coughs> uh, individuals and organizations which are listed as anti-government just in general I mean, if it's not really important to sort of getting the getting the case solved but it uh, ups the support of the government yeah so we'll do this <laughs> uh. it seems like it would be hard to put out a smear campaign against a terrorist group yeah, that is... <coughs> I wondered about that myself, and also the form <laughs> designation lies. I never, this is actually the first time I noticed that. Okay, and, yep, and we can infiltrate the campaign. Oh, uh, let's let's put half of our agents. Probably won't have as many infiltrations going on at the same time. Hmm. Form double O seven. Do all of these things work together? So if we have every one of our staff out on an infiltration mission we're a lot more likely to be seen. Uh, well, I don't see... Actually, I don't know why uh, that might increase visibility, but it's... Uh, I haven't really noticed it being that significant. And when you infiltrate a group, uh, certain things that can happen, happen are... Uh, well, you get information about connections the group has. If the infiltration goes really well, you get enough people in key positions in the groups that the group, they can uh, 
well, pretty much sees all operations of the group. That sounds so, pretty handy. Yeah, so that's all for today, I believe. So not not anything left to do now, but wait for the next day for things to to happen, and we might take a look at the departments we have. Mm. Interrogation is fun. We have ways. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, let's not. Two cells available and the manual. <sighs> fun stuff describing interrogation stuff like what was it? Level 0, level 1, and level 2 procedures. And I believe level 2, it was described that. Uh, what was it? The, Personnel doing that, doing the interrogation, they are required. Was it something like advanced knowledge of human anatomy, basic knowledge of dentistry, and electronical <laughs> engineering? Uh, let's just hit the next day and see what reports we have. Oh dear, the prime minister. Hmm. And now we have a person opposing the war crimes bill, Lord Byron. Well, that is certainly a. It seems like a valid concern. Yeah. No, questioning witnesses about stuff that happened fifty years ago. Well, let's let's put surveillance on him as well. This form is just serve. How boring. We could send people to search his place. Uh, two types. Discreet is pretty much you go go through the place. Uh, uh, the, uh, the word, you know, report on anything unusual you see yeah. there. If there's documents, you photograph them. And ransack the is then that turn the place upside down, take anything that seems important. That one seems like it would be easy to cover up as well. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Ah, and this is the result of our smear campaign. Certain information. Let's see. And let's see what the polls are like. Well, just one percent lead. And I think if nothing, if nothing happens in, in the news to sway the public opinion. The polls will, with time, gravitate towards the 4951. Yeah. Uh, divide that uh, the default. Uh, when previously playing the game, I have managed to reach something like 90% approval rating, so let's see how that goes. So we, we've got a high bar to set with me helping out. Hmm. Ah, let's see, and uh, now for the next day. Ah. And now the Prime Minister is happy! <laughs> Perhaps we may arrange a knighthood, so I... I'm not... I don't really understand how that would work out, since that seems like a highly visible public theme yeah. for things we have done which shouldn't be visible and public. It seems like it could be easy to explain away though. Mm, you know, yeah. servi services rendered uh, and so on. I mean Mary Whitehouse is, has been knighted so... <laughs> huh. I'm pretty sure that we've had puppets get knighted in this country so... 
Mm. Oh yes, here's another thing from about surveillance, not just following people around, but also wiretaps. Mm. The next thousand years. Oh yes. Mm. That also sounds like some cold nonsense. At least to me. Hmm. Actually, now that we have a, we have a time. Ah, uh -uh. at seven. Day after tomorrow evening at seven, we can give orders for heavy assault. So now it's January 5th. Give orders for heavy assault. For 7 p.m. Let's make it 15 minutes past for people to have gathered there. Yeah. Also you have to keep in keep in mind so that that wiretap uh, message is from yesterday. And it's set the day after tomorrow, so now it would be tomorrow that where we are aiming for. And uh, I, th I think the heavy assault is the on only activity where you, uh, which uh, asks you to set the time this precisely. It would make sense, especially if we're invading clubs like this. Yeah. So this so. Uh, this should. That's why we hear that order form was SAS. I <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't notice that, but that's also nice. Wait, so let's see if this all goes. Oh. Hmm. Peru. Mortar attack in the Peruvian embassy. That's... Well, we still have a lead in the polls, so... And for the next day, we should now get the results of the assault. Hmm. Well... Happened. I'm still not sure how that would tie down to us. I uh, mean, neither, but. Uh, I suppose it happened on our watch. Yes. Yeah, I suppose. Uh -uh. Now, I do have a guide. For the the game on the side here, because well, this is rather. It it seems like the kind of game that would need one. Yeah, tricky game to a true lots of, lots of things that can happen and stuff. Well. And the shining path is going on, so... Hmm. Well, now we get... Uh, I believe this would get us information about individuals involved, involved if there were, there were really any such important people associ associated with the, with the case, but not in this case case. It seems like it may come later, though. Yes. And the next day... And the Prime Minister is... not 
happy but the other hand is n I don't think that case could really be so solved without removing the opposing politician in one way or another. Do you know, I thought that was a fail state then we were about to go out of that window. Ah, uh, no, not. Yes. Ah. Right, but now that we have the opposition taken care of, the war crimes bill has passed. And this That's good. is good for us. And actually, you know, we don't need surveillance on him. And let's take a look at the forms. Pursuit is just pers. Hmm. Search. Search. Anything different for ransack? No. Interrogation. <laughs> oh! The you? thing that is in room 101 is the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Removal. Let's see. Kill. See, that one seems like a bit of an obvious paper trail. Uh, this information. Oh, yeah, we already saw that. Alright, well, thank you. Hmm, and this is, I believe this is for, yeah, for the Shining Path activity. And I think we can really do but hope that our infiltration goes. That one seems like it would be the, the long game. Yeah. Smear campaigns aside. Let's see. Oh dear. Well, hopefully we can get a lead by the target date. It seems to fluctuate quite wildly, so we we should be okay. Mm. And... Hmm... Not sure what this is about. I didn't see and notice any such thing in the news. No. Uh, let's see what we have. Perhaps it is a new case. Ah. Hmm. The DPP is a position in the government. It's the Director of Public Prosecutions. Hmm. Hmm. Either way, that's not a good start. Mm. <laughs> and it's in the star, which I'm sure is not the. Uh, it's, uh, it's not supposed to be a reference to any existing British paper. And, uh, we, we we do have the Daily Star. Mm. Not his Not sure if this is still still about the war war same war crimes bill. You can some of the cases are rather similar and if you get them going at one after another or at the same time it can be Confusing. Yeah. I can see how that'd go. Oh, oh dear, this is not good. Well, hopefully we can improve things. <laughs> ah! That's good. Ah, 
the economic advisor for the opposition has an SS tattoo. Well, I can see how that would not be good. Ooh, well. It's an opposition, so let's put a smear campaign on him. I was just about to suggest the same. He's already in a bad position, so... Oh, oh yeah, uh, okay, I was... Okay, I was mistaken before. Pursuit is people tailing a person. Surveillance is just people watching the person's home. So, well, uh, let's see how this goes, but uh, we, we haven't missed anything by not using Pursuit, since if people were moving about in a way which would to be useful for, for, for Pursuit, uh, surveillance would, would give reports like person left, left home at this time and returned at this time. Suppose that sounds like a look of the draw sort of thing with what we get information wise. Mm. And, and the Prime Minister is happy again. He seems seems to sway back and forth a lot. <coughs> he also shouts the last sentence of every conversation. Yeah. Feels kinda weird when you have you know government support at 90% that, and then something nasty is in the papers and the Prime Minister flies off the handle right away. And... whoop. Now what has happened? Uh... Huh. Okay... Well, I don't see how that's any of our business. Ah, something bad's still going on. Well, it's a bit of a shame that the previous case got closed before the smear campaign against the opposition fellow could take effect. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Witchcraft and ritual abuse. Well... See what we have. Uh, right. Uh, let's give put that there. <coughs> A smear campaign seems like the obvious yeah. way so, to go for this one. So we have limited resources. I think we started with a hundred thousand pounds in that department at the beginning and I think each smear campaign costs 30,000. Oh, what else? There's the charge into which craft trial. Um. Let's put these peop people under surveillance. Uh, let's see. Because it doesn't seem like the judge has a very easy in, if you see what I mean. There's no obvious way to go. Mm, yes. Of course, different people have different <coughs> degrees of <laughs> prominence, so you know, uh, assassinating a judge is going to be much more visible than assassinating of some freelance reporter digging yeah. into an embarrassing case. <sighs> but the polls are not looking good. Well, at least 
this worked out in our favor. And that's all for today. Well, I only shifted the pulse five percent. Oh dear. <coughs> I'm noticing also time passes a lot more quickly in this game than the other one we've got this month. <laughs> well, it certainly does. Like oh. More than two weeks in at this point. Hmm. Well, this is interesting and troubling. Uh, I, uh, let's try this information. I don't think we have we have enough funds for to do that though. Uh, and also, the, the journalist is notable. Hmm. So we can't make her disappear then. Not reasonably, anyway. I'm reading. Uh, let's do this. What a risky with it with its visibility. But really the only way to get this. Oh poor. Being infiltrated, but not very successfully. Huh. Oh yeah. Okay, we still had to smear, a smear campaign. <coughs> oh, enough funds for that. Well, that worked out fairly well. Ah, uh, but... Maybe not so much the polls. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> no, I have never... Never managed to get, uh, you know, the... What would you call it? The report day. In this game with... With a... With being behind on the polls. So this is going to be interesting for me. You're lucky to have me here. Yes. <laughs> and now we have people. It's Oliver Allenby. It's a church of St. Nicholas. And let's do a ransack. And... Hmm. I mean, you are supposed to. Termination, it should be. Coming and. <coughs> hmm. Well, it was unsuccessful, but on the other hand, it did succeed well enough that the person is out of the game. Well... Well, I guess we'd better take those flying lessons. Mm, well, it's not... So right away. And from the church we found the remains of a dead female, approximate age 14. Oh my! Well... Uh, 
Well, let's see what the PM thinks about the pearls. Hmm. Well, and that's game over right away. So, I guess we'll have to do another try. I think that might be uh, might be for the best. Although I do like the idea that we've just resigned. Uh, yes, could be worse. Well, it suggests that there's another body higher than us doing the same sort of thing. try again and since this video has been going on for a while we'll do that in the next we'll continue on the next video see you soon guys <laughs>